Welcome to Because. We have a great show planned for you today. We'll start out with Sophie as she checks out our Find Your Fit Fest at CRC. Next, Ellie will be at Shamrock Golf Club checking out our golf simulators. And we'll conclude today's episode with Sophie as she stops by our winter break camp at Meineke. Stick around, we'll be right back after these messages. Hi, my name is Erin Chaffa, and I take time for fun by hanging out with my lovely family, traveling to as many places as we can, and camping. Hi, I'm Emily Silva, I'm the fitness supervisor, and I take time for fun by hanging out with my family, playing with my dogs, and moving into my new house. My name is Jennifer Baines. I work at Pat Shepherd Center, and I take time for fun by doing arts and crafts. Hi, I'm Pam Gopper, the supervisor of parties and rentals, and I take time for fun by going to flea markets and antique stores and buying stuff I don't need, but I love. Sophie Ali here reporting for Because, and we are at the Community Recreation Center today to check out what's going on at Find Your Fit Fest. So basically, um, we are going to go into the different fitness studios and see what kind of classes they're sampling. Let's go check it out. I am here with Jim. Jim, can you tell me a little bit about what exactly Tai Chi is? Tai Chi has been, um, it's been described as a moving form of yoga, um, a mo two things, a moving form of yoga, moving form of mo meditation. It, um, it's slow, gentle movements that anybody can do. It's good for, uh, for people in their 20s. I have a student um, who's 102, and she has actually, she's actually learning Tai Chi and uh, is able to practice Tai Chi at 102 years old. Um, it's been around for about 500 years or so, um, and it, like I say, it has just slow, gentle movements that um, produce, uh, for, for older people, for anyone, depending on fitness level, they can um, produce uh, leg strength, maintain or increase leg strength, flexibility, breathing, we, 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 a big, there's a big emphasis on breathing in Tai Chi, for uh, overall feeling of well-being and, uh, and good health. Those are all very important things. Yeah. And if somebody were to come to one of your classes, um, what, would, what could they expect? What kind of things do you cover in class? Um, you know, do you start out with stretches? Do you kind of um, just go right into it? What would they um, expect to come? Awesome question. What, our classes are an hour long, and in the beginning, we have a beginner and an advanced class. If you came to a beginner class, the first half hour of the class is what are called Ji Kung exercises, which are stretching and breathing exercises. We stretch and we breathe. We start off with the, with the upper body, big emphasis on breathing, say like flat out in class, um, that these exercises don't mean much without the breathing. You have to breathe into it, um, breathe into the parts of the body. We start off with the upper body, the neck, and move all the way down to the ankles. Stretch the body out, and then we move into the Tai Chi portion of the class, which is just learning um, the basic movements of Tai Chi. It's, it's not unlike um, learning dance. Uh, there's there's just there's certain movements one movement comes after the next and it requires patience to learn Tai Chi That's one of the things I tell the students is We all can benefit from increased patience if you ever like came across a person who says I don't need any more patience I have all the patience I need that's probably a highly impatient person, right? Uh, so we could all benefit from patience and if you have patience anyone can learn Tai Chi like I say this woman her name is Antoinette uh, she's 102 years old, and she's learning it because she has patience, which is really awesome. Um, so the, uh, the second half of the class, after the Qigong exercise, we just methodically go over the steps of Tai Chi, one step in front of the other. Now, one of the metaphors I use, if anybody's ever seen Dancing with the Stars, um, in, they show the um, when they're practicing. You know, they're sweating. They don't look that good. They look awkward. And it's, 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 
it takes practice to learn. But then when they get out on the dance floor, it's fluid, it's beautiful. You can see that they're having fun at, and they're, they're enjoying it. And you watch it and go, gee, I wish I could do that. Well, we, could, we can all do that. We just have to put in that practice. I just fell in love with it immediately. And I stuck with it. And the more I stuck with it, after a month, after five weeks, after six weeks, then the light bulb goes on. And you start to get that feeling of like, okay, I get it. I, I get this feeling. I, I was starting to get that feeling of, uh, of just being connected and, and um, calmness and calm, relaxed energy. Not the energy that you get from coffee or just the energy that you might get from a video game, that kind of, just calm, relaxed energy. In my front yard one time, I walked out <clears throat> on a, a very nice August morning where there was a nice, gentle rain falling. And the rain, um, the raindrops were warm. It was August and it was no wind and it was just a nice, gentle rain. And I just was practicing in the rain it was gentle. Not, not, it wasn't a downpour where I looked like a nut. But it was, <laughs> it was a gentle rain coming down. And I'm practicing this Tai Chi. I was like, this is awesome because you don't get it very often, but the raindrops were warm. And I'm practicing the Tai Chi. I'm going through it. And there's a tree right in my front yard. right, And like, I here comes this bird. It flits out to the outside of the tree. And this bird is looking at me. Here comes a squirrel, a rabbit. And there were all these animals <clears throat> and the birds. And it occurred to me, you know, every, we're all like, oh, it's raining. I can't get wet, you know. But the animals, this was like a big party to them. They were having a ball. And I think they all came to me like, here's one of these two-legged creatures who actually gets it, who gets the wonder of nature, the wonder, the gratitude of all we've been given. And you, you have to practice Tai Chi and put in a little work to, to get there. It doesn't, take, it doesn't take that long, a month or two, a couple months, to get the movements and start to flow through it and you can start to get those experiences. And they are, I don't think it's being over dramatic. They are life changing. All right, I am here with Emily, the fitness supervisor here at Schaumburg Park District. Emily, why did we decide to do um, a Find Your Fit Fest? So uh, traditionally in the past, we've done free weeks, and I thought of changing things up a little bit and offering a sampling of all of our classes because sometimes it might be overwhelming to like go to every single class, and then this way they can get a little 20-minute sample of different types of formats on different days so you're not getting overtired. You can try and fit it into your schedule during the prime times during the week um, and find your fit here at the Schomburg Park District. So find what works for you. Find what fits with your routine, what fits with your goals, and, and just what you like and what you have fun with. And Emily, if somebody um, was trying to get into fitness for 2020 and isn't familiar with what type of memberships we offer, can you explain a little bit about their options? Sure. So we have fitness center uh, um, fitness center memberships. Uh, so you can do a fitness center membership for just the Meineke Fitness Center. You can do it for Meineke and the Community Rec Center. You can do it for Meineke STP and uh, CRC. There's a variety of different types of memberships that you can do if you're looking solely in um, utilizing our fitness centers only. On top of that, uh, we also have fitness class memberships. So right now we have a fitness punch card that you can do to com come to different fitness classes. So that's, you can purchase 12, 24, 36 punches, however many classes you want um, to come and try out some of our classes here that we offer. And then we also have a Fitness Unlimited Plus membership. So that can be an, a monthly membership or an annual membership. And that allows you to go to any class at any facility. You can, you know, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty good deal. So I would suggest um, for people to kind of look into that if they're thinking about our classes and they like a lot of the offerings that we have here at the Schomburg Park District. I feel like that would be a very good option because then you can pretty much do anything. You can do whatever you want. I love it. And Emily, do you have a favorite class that you've taken um, here at the Park District? Oh, there are just so many good ones. Um, so yeah, so I've sampled a bunch of different classes. Um, I love TRX here. Uh, TRX works with your, it works your strength and conditioning and it also works your balance while being also low impact. So if you have, um, you know, any joint issues or um, other, you know, issues that you, prevents you from maybe doing some more, 
intimidating movements and exercises, TRX might be a good way to start because you can still do those same movements and exercises with the help of the suspension trainer straps. So that's kind of fun. Um, Strong by Zumba is a really great class that we've started offering here. It's choreographed, just kind of like a Zumba class is, but it's more based off of um, there's some kickboxing moves and some functional like strength training moves, so squats and your lunges and, and push-ups and things like that. Um, and it's super fun. It's a blast. It's choreographed to music. You get into it. It's, it's really great. So, yeah. All right, so as you can see, even if you weren't able to make it here for Find Your Fit Fest, um, there's a ton of options. I know Emily and all of our staff members here um, would be willing to help talk you through the different um, membership options and also what each class entails. So be sure to come out and visit us and join one of our classes. All right, we had a blast over here checking out the different types of classes that you can get with one of our fitness memberships. So for more information on memberships and different fitness classes, be sure to visit parkfun.com. Here at the Community Rec Center, we have WellBeats. So WellBeats is a virtual fitness system. It's an on-demand system. We have it here in the wellness studio and also in the cycle studio. You can choose a ver from a variety of classes. The offerings will tell you what kind of equipment you need. You get that motivation from an instructor and you don't really have to think about a workout. It's extremely user-friendly. You press play, then it will be reflected on the big screen that we have both in the wellness studios and the cycle studio and you can just run through the workout. It's like an at-home kind of video workout, but here you have all of the equipment at your fingertips, everything you'd need to run through any workout that you want. Hi, I'm Eliana. I'm at Schomburg Golf Course, located at 401 North Roselle Road. Uh, so we are here to check out the simulators. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Jonathan Parsons, Director of Golf Operations here at Schomburg Golf Club. Uh, Jonathan, I know it's cold outside, it's winter. We have players that want to continue working on their game. Um, can you tell us a little bit about our simulators? Yes, so we have three simulators down here. Uh, this is our low, lower level of our clubhouse. Uh, these are open uh, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Sunday. Uh, and what's fun with the simulators is you can do a variety of things. So we're going to talk about a couple of things you can do today. For example, currently we have the 17th hole at Whistling Straits uh, that's available to play here. It's showing up on our simulator. Uh, and what's fun about this too is they're hosting the Ryder Cup this fall in uh, September of 2020. So it'll give you a chance to come out here, preview the course. Uh, the other thing that's nice with the simulators too is we have quite a few guests that come in. Uh, we have a variety of golf courses, all the way from TPC Sawgrass to TPC Scottsdale. And they'll come in and actually they'll play the golf course on the simulator before they actually go to visit the golf course. So it's kind of neat to see some of the responses we get. We had a customer that came in, in particular last year, he played Pebble Beach. He came here first, played it like four or five times, went out there, came back. It was kind of neat to hear from him the simulators and how close it actually was and just the views and things that you actually see in the simulator does really um, relate to what's actually out there. So it's really kind of neat. Another thing that's neat is I heard that we're almost done um, with the development of Schomburg Golf Course as one of the simulator yes. options, correct? Yes, we sh our goal is to have this within the next few weeks. Uh, hopefully we'll have a up and going here by early February, if not even sooner than that. Uh, so what's going to be really fun for us too is all three nines will be on there. You'll have an opportunity to play each nine. Uh, and the other thing that's neat too is you'll even have the opportunity to play the new term at nine. So technically you can play it on the simulator before it even actually opens outside. Uh, so I'll give a good preview of that. So yes, we're really looking forward to that. I just heard from the develop the other day. They said it was going to be a couple more weeks before we get the proof. 
once we get that, we'll go through and just kind of make sure everything looks correctly and plays correctly. Uh, so yes, we're really looking forward to that, and that's going to be a neat uh, feature. Uh, it's actually, Shomer Golf Club is the most asked golf course that we get when people walk in the door. So Makes it's, sense. yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a, it was a great honor, to be honest with you. Uh, so it, we're looking forward to bringing that out as well, too. And um, for anyone that is looking to um, come down to the simulators, mm -hmm. what's the process for them to be able to run some time down here? Sure, yeah, it's real easy. So to start with, we charge $40 per hour, uh, and that's up to four people uh, for that rate as well, too. Uh, we make tee times just like you're on the golf course. So if you give us a call and say, hey, I'd like to book it on Saturday, we'll give you some availability based upon the time that you ask. And what we'll ask at that time is how long you like to rent the simulator for as well, too. Uh, a good rule of thumb is we generally do an hour per player. So if you have two golfers, they want to play 18 holes, we'll ask you to run it for two hours. Uh, and what's nice too with the simulators is within that two hour time frame, uh, if you get done uh, on 18 holes faster than two hours, what you can do too is we can switch to another course and you, you keep going until the two hours is up. So it's just not just because you play 18 holes and you still have time left, that doesn't mean it stops. It means you can play something else. You can go to the range. There's a lot of options you can do with this. Um, on the simulator itself, um, you can even play skee ball. Uh, you can play beer pong. You can play a variety of things on this. Uh, so it's really interactive. It's designed for families. It's designed for fun. Uh, what's nice too is on uh, after 4 p.m. on the weekdays and then on the weekends as well too, we do offer food and beverage service down here as well too through Chandler's. So you can come down here and bring, bring a group with you, have a good time. Uh, we do run it out to four people per bay. Uh, we try to minimize um, the amount of people down here in regards to it get too many, it gets overcrowded, and it gets a little dangerous as well, too. So we try to keep a safety aspect on it. And we have TVs down here as well, too, so we can turn the game on or whatever sporting event is going on, whether it be a golf tournament or NBA game, whatever it might be as well. Or Blackhawks. Yes. I know we're uh, right now, that's what we're doing right now. Correct. Yes, we have our Blackhawks. Uh, we do selective games generally on Sunday afternoon. Um, we do a, a, a whole prize package in regards to we charge a flat fee and that actually includes a gift certificate up in the restaurant as well too. So you can apply it while you're playing or when you get done, if you would like to go up and eat, you can do that too. Well, thank you, Jonathan. Well, we we'll look forward to you showing us a little bit more. We just talked about playing one of the golf courses. We showed Whistling Straits. Now what we're going to do is show another option that you have on the golf course as well too when you're down here in the simulator. So what we did is we went to uh, the driving range uh, here through the simulator. We have the beautiful waterfall in the background. The simulator gives you a lot of data, a lot of information you can use to help you through your game, and it's really simple. So we're going to hit a shot here and get some information about it. So after you, you hit the shot, you'll see the golf ball fly. On the left-hand side, you'll see the distance and all the information of it. So here's some important information. You'll see the total distance, your carry, your ball speed, your launch angle, your spin, which is very important. And then as you work your way through, it'll keep track of all, all this information. You can even bring up a table view and it'll detail all that information as you work your way through. What's nice with the simulator too, as you go to continue to hit your shots, you'll see multiple lines indicating your, your shots as you work your way through there. So you'll see the different distances and you'll see the accuracy of your shots as well too. Um, personally, my, my thought in, in using these simulators, um, this is very accurate, meaning uh, what's nice too is we, we'll have a trip coming up here. We'll try to play a little bit of golf personally in the next few weeks. I'll, I'll head down to Florida, play a few rounds. And what I found is if I practice in here just a little bit, I go down south and I play a few golf courses, a lot of the same feelings and everything transpires the same as in the simulator as in outside. So the data that it gives you in the simulator is very accurate. Um, it's very realistic, uh, and it's sometimes it can be a little bit self-deprecating in regards to, I, I feel like I should hit it further than what it actually shows there on the screen itself. So come, come by, book a tee time with us here at Schaumer Golf Club. Easiest way to do is call us in the golf shop, 847-885-9000. We'll be happy to help you. Have a great day. I'm here with Clark. Uh, we are downstairs at the Schaumburg Golf Club. We are, right behind us is the simulator. Um, we actually caught Clark golfing today in the simulator. Can you tell us what course you were playing on? Yes, today I was playing the uh, what called Teeth of the Dog and down in the Dominican Republic. Ooh. Have you visited that um, course yourself in person? No, that's one of the benefits of this. Yeah, you can 
visit courses you're never going to be able to afford to play or never likely to get to. Pebble Beach, the old St. Andrews, uh, all of them at uh, TPC uh, Sawgrass down in Florida. It's great. And what are some of your favorite courses that you've visited in person? Well, of course, Schomburg. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this place is just remarkable, what they've done to it since it was taken over from uh, the previous owners. It was a mess then, and now it's beautiful. So I take it you've been a longtime uh, golfer here at Schomburg Golf Club. Yeah. Um, I actually had a 30-year layoff. I used to play this a long time ago. Had my back injured, uh, but started playing here a few years ago with the Schomburg uh, Senior Golf League. So that's they play every Tuesday, by the way. Uh, and we rotate through the three courses. And every one of them is fairly challenging and uh, very pretty. And as far as the simulators, how long have you been playing indoors in the simulator? And what got you started? Um, I saw that they had a nighttime league for the Sims. And I wanted some uh, way to keep my golf game straight in the uh, wintertime because it gets brutal. They had the league, and then um, Chris or John, I forget which, said, we've got uh, SIM memberships annually. And I said, yeah, what's the price? And they said, whatever it was. And I said, sign me up. And it's been uh, since the inception of the SIMs here. Oh, wonderful. And um, I take it you're a local celebrity. I know you've been in a couple of local TV shows in Chicago. Can yes. you tell us, give us a rundown of some of the shows you've been on? I'm sure some of our viewers will recognize you. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I owe people money. <laughs> uh, well, I've been in many, many episodes of Chicago Fire. I've been in Chicago PD, uh, initially in, the, uh, uh, in Chicago Med, and many of the shows that have been filmed here. Going back to the Chicago Code 10, 11 years ago, uh, the Dark Knight, Contagion was filmed here. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. If you would like to reserve a tea time at Schomburg Golf Course for our simulators, feel free to stop by the Golf Shop located at 401 North Roselle Road, call the Golf Shop, or visit parkfun.com. I love competing and I love the rush you feel when you do tumbling or any event really. Uh, by participating in gymnastics, new students can learn to work new skills and understand their body, their body types. The coaches are great here, and uh, it's a good experience to have because you meet new people. And they might eventually fall in love with the sport. are here at the Way Fun Winter Break Camp here at Meineke Recreation Center and the kids are having an awesome time so let's go check it out and see what they're up to. All right I am here with Eva. Eva can you tell me what is your favorite part about this camp been so far? All the field trips. And what was the favorite field trip that you've been on? So far, I think it was rock and jump. Is that where you just get to like jump around? And have, oh, that sounds awesome. That would probably be my favorite too. And Eva, did you do anything fun for the holidays while you weren't in school? Yeah, I went to spend a lot of time with my family. At spending time with family is always a good thing. And do you have any New Year's resolutions for 2020? Trying to um, learn Russian. Learning Russian. That is so cool. Speaking another language is a very, very cool thing to do. Well, thank you, Eva. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, Addison, what has been your favorite part about coming to this um, camp at Meineke? I get to see my favorite counselor, Maggie. She has a favorite counselor. Is Maggie pretty awesome? Mm -hmm. 
And is there anything really fun that you did um, over winter break besides coming to this camp? Um, I went to a magic show. What was the coolest part about the magic show? Um, where there was a guy hanging and there was like ropes on fire and then it clamped together and he had to get out. Were you scared? Yeah. <laughs> I would have been terrified. Oh my gosh. And did you do anything um, for the holidays that, that you enjoyed? Um, I, Santa gave me a ukulele. So are you a musician then? Yeah. Do you sing or just play the ukulele? I play the piano, the recorder, and the ukulele. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, at some point, we're going to have to find you around the park district and you're going to have to perform for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am here with Ava. We're just making some bracelets over here with rubber bands. It's a little bit harder than it looks, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> really hard. Ava, what has been your favorite part about camp so far? Um, like doing crafts and stuff. What other crafts have you done besides um, the bracelet? Have you done anything or have you just been making bracelets? I, I just started doing crafts <laughs> because before I was just sitting there. <laughs> crafts are always a fun thing. Um, Ava, is there anything that you did over winter break besides come to camp? Yeah. I celebrated Christmas with my family. And I got roller skates for Christmas from Santa. Have you roller skated before? No, I just started. And Ava, do you have any New Year's resolutions for 2020? Yeah, starting to go outside and you and you um, pl um use my my energy more. Using your energy, and now you have roller skates to get out your energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ava. Thank you so much. <laughs> Frankie, what has been your favorite part about coming to this camp? Um, going to um, waterworks. The waterworks? Are you a good swimmer? Uh, yeah, kind of. I was practicing, and that's one of our few trips. And what's your favorite part about the waterworks? Do you like the slides, or you just like the pool? I, I like two pools and the water slides. The kitty pool and, and, those, and that practice pool where you practice swimming. That's really neat. Tests. And then Frankie, besides going on field trips like to the waterworks, um, it looks like today we are doing some fun building. What did you build here? I built a tower. So right, right here is where you can climb up if you're a good guy and go in and you can have like a party and it never stops with like all these little gems inside. That's so cool. You can't really see it, but there's he put some um, like gems at the bottom, which is really cool. You're very creative, Frankie. Um, Frankie, besides um, coming to camp, did you do anything else over winter break while you weren't at school? Um, yeah, I I was like where I, I went to my grandma's house and played Roblox. Cool, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? I was really good at Bee Swarm Simulator, and I have a lot of bees. That's awesome. Yeah, or medium-sized. And Frankie, you were also telling me that there is a book with your name in it. Is that right? Yeah. Have you read the book before? Yeah. Right, as you can see, the kids had a great time at camp. They were building things, they were doing crafts, and now they're going to be heading on a field trip. So for more information on different camps for winter break, spring break, summer camps, be sure to check out our website at parkfun.com. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget, take time for fun. <laughs>